but I, I would go visit with them. But then I'd have to be home for lunch, get the fire going in the stove. What grade school did you go up until? When did you stop school? I stopped school when I was in the 10th grade. And was that before graduating? Yes, that was before graduating. And why did you stop at 10th because, grade? Because uh, it was a young man came down in, the, in our hometown. He used to live there. And he asked his aunt about some ladies. He said, I, he came from California. He said, I want to get married. I want a nice young lady. And she told him that Mr. Dobbins had some nice girls. And he came down there, and we were working, working on the farm. And we saw this car. It was driving real fast. And he came, and he said, is Mary Lee there? And of course, my daddy. He went out to meet him, asking about his daughter. So uh, he asked, could he carry us to a uh, picnic and uh, that evening or that night. So my dad said, well, he just wanted to carry me. And my dad said, no, you have to carry them both. And that was my sister and I. It's just a year's different in our age. What's so, her name? Her name is Dorothy. And so, uh, we went to the picnic of the association, and he asked me to marry him that night. The same night? It's the same night. And so I said, oh, I can't do that. My daddy won't allow that. So he said, I'm going to ask him. Say, I'm, I'm going back to California, and fruit grows wild. And he showed me a lot of money. and. Uh, it kind of fascinated me because I was working hard on the farm there. And he came down the next day and asked my daddy if he could marry me and carry me back to California. My dad said, I don't think she knows what she's doing. So he called me in and asked me. And of course I said yes because I was uh, excited about not working anymore. But I really didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> then the next year or so, my sister came out. Uh, she had finished high school then. And so, my uh, dad, after she came out, she got married. And my dad asked us to go back to Texas with him. And we told him that uh, we uh, didn't have any money to go. And he said, well, you ladies, why don't you go and get you a job? And then you'll have some money when you get ready to go, when I get ready to go home. And so we went and got a job. And our husbands, they didn't like for us to work because they hadn't told us to go to work. But as the years rolled by, they were glad we was working. <laughs> And at this time, uh, I had a child, and I didn't... You had your first child? Yes, and he had hoop and call. Oh. And I didn't like to work on night shift. I didn't want to be transferred on night shift. And I told him that my baby had a hoop and call. And so when it came time to change us back, uh, they let me work on days. And when it came time to change back on the night shift, I told him my baby still had the hoop and call. And he said he never heard of a baby having a whooping cough that long. And so, anyway, in the meantime, my husband was working at Forge. So he said, would you like to come and work at Forge? And I said, yes, because I didn't want to go on night shift. They were going to make you go back to night shift? Yeah, they were going to let me go back to night shift. And so he got me a job at Forge. That's how I managed to get there. So what was working... On the line. Yeah, what, what was is that, that like? like? Oh, you had to work steadier. Because when I was doing janitor work, I would go up in the restroom, sit down, and talk, and, and uh, crochet, uh, you know. Just, well, you could but, take a little break. Yes, take breaks. 
But then when I started on the line, I couldn't do that. Well, one lady told me uh, when the wall was, uh, after the wall was over, she said, Mary said, I have to work because I don't have a husband. They were really trying to get rid of us ladies after the wall. They made the work hard for us, gave us more work. And she said, I have to work. I said, but you don't have to work, you have a husband. So I made up my mind. I said, well, if she can work, she was doing, working on the um, left hand side and I was working on the right. And what were you doing? Putting the flow boats with the uh, motors, guns, these high power guns. And uh, I said, if she can do this work, I can too. <laughs> And so I stuck there as two ladies quit on the job that I was on. And uh, I just held on to it. So that was after the war ended? Yes. You kept working? Yes, yes. They tried to run us out of there because the men was coming back from uh, the wall. How did they try? By giving us harder work. Like what? Work. Uh, more work, you know. So did they expect you to do the same amount of work as a man in the same amount of time? Yes, yes. And if you didn't, they'd fire you. So we just hang in there. I did, just a few of us, but uh, most of them they would quit. The year before that, I had gotten married. Um, one time he told me that I absolutely could not get married until I was 17. And I had a boyfriend from the time I was 15. We just went steady and mm -hmm. it was always when we grow up, we'll get married. And since mm -hmm. dad set this 17, on my birthday I was sitting on the floor playing with my paper dolls, real grown up. <laughs> and. <laughs> My boyfriend showed up and he says, want to get married tomorrow? And I said, sure, and we did. <laughs> <laughs> and he he worked at a sawmill. And uh, it was in the Depression then. Mm -hmm. And so it was rare for somebody that young, he was 19, to have a job. And he earned 32 and a half cents an hour. And we lived in a one room, can't call it a house, <laughs> it was his brother, Cottage. Had, his brother had built it with green lumber. So as it dried out, I could sweep across the floor and stuff just went through the cracks. Didn't even have doorknobs, just had a leather strap with a nail. Um, the cheapest wood stove we could buy, so it was either too hot or not hot enough. Mm -hmm. And I had belonged to the 4-H club, a cooking club, so I liked to bake things. Well, I tried baking in that crazy stove and mm -hmm. it didn't turn out too, too good. And in the mornings, I would have to start up the fire and make breakfast. And my husband would sit there and sing, I wish I was single again. <laughs> and I'd cry and drive. <laughs> <laughs>